good early-ish morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoyed today's video, you should uh, come back tomorrow, and maybe even the next day, and you know, judge from there if you want to keep coming back or not. But it's usually fun. <laughs> Heading down Park Avenue because in 30 minutes the two mile race will begin, followed shortly at 7.30 by the 10 kilometer. Both of those equal the distance there for Winter Park Road Race. And I'm purely spectating the races, not running, and I'm having, you know, some mental issues dealing with that, but I'll get through it. Alright, so just said hi to Katie. I forgot to show on the vlog. We'll show her after because she's doing both races with two of her friends. But I'm actually going to try to fight my way to the very front of the start line so I can get a good spectating spot. It's so strange to be just full on spectating and not running, but I'm enjoying it. Man. Alright, runners! I love being here, and I'll show you the, the grounds later. Um, it's because it's the end of the fanatic season for track check. I feel like they stepped it up. I love these track check events. If you're in the area or on vacation right here, you got to check them out. Um, I just love local running events. I mean, we did we didn't vlog them in Chicago, but we would go to them in Chicago and love them. Who's it gonna be? Come on! I found Katie! Go Katie! Woo! The ladies are Right, I saw, I saw all my friends. I saw Morella, I saw Jared, I saw Katie. Now I gotta get to the front of this big old crowd to try to get to the front of the start line of the 10K in four minutes. For the land of the free and the That awesome hashtag run winter park sign. So here's the the event area. Pretty calm now considering everybody's doing a race. But we got Center for Health and Wellbeing. We got Orange Theory over here. St. Pete's Run Fest. Krispy Kreme for you. We got Camp Gladiator. FM 1019. There's a different fertility. It's the one called the Fertility Center of Orlando. So that's different than our place. But I might have to go say hi because gotta respect and promote everybody's fighting. Infertility. We got some shops. We got Advent Health, Photo Ops, Hunter Vision, all the fun stuff, all the usuals. Coming toward the finish line right here, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Joe Ferrara takes the 10K finish! Woo! The Advent Health Joe, Winter Park Joe. Winter Race. Here we are celebrating with these awesome runners. Of yeah. course, we're glad to have them out here. We also have to call this race the James. You crushed it! How do you feel? Good. So all the blame. Three medals. Did you get your glass? No, not yet. It's right over there. Let's go get it. Alright, I won't be able to vlog it, but it's time to uh, for the kids' races. I'm volunteering to help out, so I don't know quite what I'm doing yet, but I'm meeting all the track check peoples over here at the finish line. Um, congrats Jared and Jason and Morella and Katie and all my other friends who ran today. You guys did incredible and I hope next year I'll be running with you all during road race. We have not been here in a long time. Now think about how long it's been since we were here during daylight. Yeah. 
We had to rush here because we have our first fast pass that ended five minutes ago. I'm hoping we, we hit that win that leeway window. Yeah, it's because for Navi River Journey. Navi River Journey. And that's the Cannot only ride wait. I can go on here. Right. <laughs> but we've got shows planned the rest of the day, but yeah. we need to get to Navi. It is busy. It is I thought for a second there was a show that let out, but I just think it's ridiculously busy. So we approached it and then we realized that it was down. And it literally just went down, so we got multiple experiences fast pass inside. So we'll just have to come back. So it is time to check out the fourth and final first aid of the four Disney parks. Yes. We have yet to go to Animal Kingdom and so we're gonna it's it is a little hot in the sun. Yeah. So I don't want to pocket this medicine all day. Right. So we're gonna drop it off there which it is just past Creature Comforts aka Starbucks. This one's a little bit more tucked away as you can see but we've been in this baby care with Christina before. And that's the best one. Well we're going past it and we're going to first aid which we did not go into with Christina. Oh. Our next fast pass isn't until three, so we're gonna go into Gorilla Falls. Vacationers are amused by the, uh, the the almost daily aerial messages that get brought above theme park property. And I've been kind of a hater of it. We just don't even know what to expect. We're doing the Up Bird Adventure Show. We love Up. We love Up and we love the birds. We just were a big fan of the other show and I've never heard somebody not say that the other show is better. But better, I'm going but into it. I have seen people say that they like this show. Yeah, yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that that's, it is Kevin in it. Yeah, yeah. Er, no, I don't think Kevin's. I think Doug and Russell are. Okay. I hope we see a bald eagle because I think there's a bald eagle on my show and I love a good old Americana bald eagle. <laughs> Look at those hidden Mickeys and all of those bricks. Thanks, Dave. Adventurers and explorers, hello! Hi! Alright, Namaste. Uh, have you seen a boy named Russell? He's a wilderness explorer scout. He's wearing his uniform. I know he's gotta be close. Oh, and he's got a dog with him too. Look at that, Doug! Whoa! That is an interesting bird. Yeah, he is. That's Miles. He's a trumpeter hornbill from Africa. This is Keto, and she's a... Ever, ever, and Amazon. A double yellow-headed Amazon parrot. Okay! And normally found in the forest of Central America. But, but not Keto. She's grown up around people, and she's learned all sorts of really incredible stuff. Uh, like. Like some animal sounds. How about the a big scary one? What do you think? The scary tiger? <laughs> ah, a dinosaur! Scary birdie! Scary birdie! Oh, uh, wait! Uh, they're not scary! Uh, they're just big! Whoa! Here he comes! <laughs> wow! Yeah, like you and me, oh, a bald birdie? Well, the bald eagles aren't actually bald. How majestic! Have earned your official Wilderness Explorer's Bird Badge! Woohoo! What did you think of the show? I loved it. I really enjoyed it. It was like, there definitely was definitely more bird action and learning last show. Yeah. But this was like more, it was like 50 50 entertainment, educational. Yeah. I dug it. We're going Lately. right into another show. We are, we're going straight into Nemo. And this is one I've attempted, like I'm nervous I'm gonna fall asleep in. 
I like 50 50 fall asleep, 50 50 don't. You're gonna film this one so you won't. Oh, that'll keep me awake, that's for sure. And then we might get a snack, a little one. Someone's hungry. Someone's real hungry. We got the very front row. Front row. Are you nervous? I'm gonna, gonna fall asleep. They're gonna ask you to come on stage. No. Yeah. This is a real, true Broadway show. It is written, the music's written by the same couple that wrote Frozen, so. It's so legit. Vacuum. And sometimes, if you want to do it four times, Come on! Okay. Oh, well, <laughs> what are you gonna do? You gotta let them go sometimes. The drop off! Hands down, one of my favorite performances of that ever. I think ever. best spot, best cast, and I don't think we watched that last pregnancy, and it was hitting you in the feels a little bit extra. Yeah, for sure. All right, Restaurantosaurus. What you have a spicy Southwest burger? So he wants a, a pizza. She's been hoping for a pizza for days. Vegan pizza? Yeah. With daiichis? We don't like daiichis though. We're gonna have some fancy french fries with the toppings. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's warm in this cave. <laughs> oh, I just want to stand here all day. We're leaving after this. We're going shopping. Target. We haven't even talked about this yet. But we're doing a little shopping spree. Potentially today. But we'll explain when we get there. Look at how chilly Peter is. Um, I just need a hoodie. Or Do a I have hug. a hoodie in the car? Oh, that's cute. A hoodie or a hug? <laughs> I don't know. But that was the first time we ever didn't see the animatronic at the end. It was a screen. It was. Can you believe it? I admired though that they put just as much quality and money behind having somebody actually have to design, animate, and render that a beautiful screen they put up. Yeah. So that was cool. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna go to my shot. Then I'm going to Target. <laughs> Ooh. Technology-wise, it's second best. It's very similar to Hollywood Studios in size. Older looking. Yeah. Needs a paint job. <laughs> Needs some feng shui <laughs> up in here. Here's what happened. My work does like incentive things where like if you did a good job you can give someone like a pat on the back by giving them like these points and you can redeem those points for gift cards. And so we redeemed some of my points from some products I was working on for a Tucker gift card. So we're gonna get some, a little bit of fun and then mostly stuff for our apartment. All right, we quickly got a few things and I, I think I need we need to go like, go look at that desk again mm -hmm. after we've gotten a few pieces. We may be getting kind of the living room Kind of. Situated with some yeah, stuff. I kind of want to look at some curtains. We can. Do, can we go back and look at the desk while we're fresh on the lamp that's sitting next to it and the shelves that we're going to sit above it? Yeah. Just to go see how we feel about it? Yeah. And then we can go look at curtains yeah. for the living room? It's kind of like, it's exciting, like I'm having fun, but I'm also like overwhelmed, like... Are you making the right decisions? Yeah. Are we going like, to like it? We kind of, I don't want to say we need a lot, because like I know we're just like getting this all going, but like... I don't know, we're like, kind of have restraints with the gift card. I don't 
it's a good gift card, but it's, I don't know, I'm just like, my mind is just going and going and going. We might be done. Wow, wow, wow. How much more minimalistic and simple and awesome does this look? And we got some things to put some plants on the walls. Yeah, we got two of these here. These things will go up there. Are you happy? Very. Did you think this is where the night was going to go? No. We're thinking about getting another one of these to put over there. Two. Tunes. Tunes. Alrighty, March 7th. Just trust yourself. Then you will know how to live. Go. I fell asleep on the couch. Sarah's been having a crack a lacking time watching bloopers. Uh, we're losing an hour of sleep and we have to get up early to edit the vlog and go on a run and live stream. Or get to Epcot to live stream. It's good to be home. <laughs> good night. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.